Okay, greetings, and welcome back to Kato's Corners, here on Game Guys. I am Coach Kato, and today we have made it, so we're back in the base game, before I am at a dead stop in Shadows of the Earth Tree. We're going to finalize this build with uh, Rolana's Twin Blades. I've already fully upgraded them at plus 10. We're still rocking the full Radon set plus the Terran's Helm. He's such a good little dragon. We have Erdtree's Favor, Carrion Filigreed Quest, Green Turtle Talisman, Crimson Amber Medallion plus one, and the spread. Yes. <coughs> we are back at, we are here at Fair Missoula looking for one specific talisman. We can also pick up the fourth uh, minor bells bearing from the Goldskin Duo while we're at it. It'll be a good test for this uh, build. Ah, pretty solid melee damage. Yeah, they don't fuck around here on Fera Missoula. But neither do I. What's up? And goodbye. And tally-ho. And I've made it. Next set of grace. I'm just gonna kinda make my way through Fair Missoula. Just grab that one talisman and we're gonna make our way. Hello. Calm down there, dude. Well, at least it competes in Fera Missoula, so I got that going for me. Is this the boss room? I don't believe so. No, it's not. Nice try. You bring the lightning, I bring the fire. Also, occasionally the magic. Next side of Grace. Oh. All right, where to next? I guess we're going this, looks like we're going this way. And you gotta double tap these fellas. And I'm just gonna move. All right, we gotta go down here. We must also go down this way. Shouldn't be taking much fall damage as you make your way across here. Oh yeah, we got this guy. So I'm gonna just give him a howdy hello. With fire. Oh, he brought his own fire. That's cute. Ow. Went for the greed play and it occasionally works out. Cool. Ow. Who is pelting me? Nah. Too far away. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I should probably, uh, go seek medical attention. Right away. Oh, hey, look! It's the medical attention! Another side- I almost fell. That would have been very silly of me. Ah! Delicious! Just, a uh, 50k shy of the next level. Oh, yeah, I know what's coming up. I'm gonna reset here. We're just gonna run straight for the boss. This is the gold skin duo, and they are a pain in the ass. Hmm, I tried to go for the reach around. Didn't quite work out. Hello. Hmm. This might be a bit underpowered. Let me try the magic. Magic is even worse. Wait, are they resistant to fire? They might be re- I think they're resistant to fire.
I went for the greedy play and it didn't quite work out. I am going for it. Gold skin duo usually takes me a decent number of tries. Being outnumbered is just tragic. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Hmm. And I went the wrong way. Oh, the ammy. The talisman is over encumbering me. Yeah, I got the heavy load. All right, sorry, Terrence, but I needed to lighten the load. I am curious. All right, I'm gonna go back and heal up. Okay, here we go, let's try this again. I got a couple of metal boys on my tail. Did I go the wrong way again? Yes, I did. Oh, I had to go down the stairs. I'm just gonna let these runes go. I don't care if I lose them. Yeah, it just doesn't do enough damage for it to be worth the wind up. I really am digging the right bumper, though. The multi-attacking is pretty fun. I might rebalance the build for more on the physical aspect. Because while the particle effects look cool, they are too slow and the wind-up is just too long for these fast-paced boss fights. I do want to make this weapon viable, but, yeah. I mean, look at this shit. I don't have... The game does not give me enough time to wind up for those attacks. Which also means if I'm not going to use that, I should probably... swap that out. Uh, I went the wrong way again. And away we go. Damage is just ass. Yeah. He's gonna do his roly poly oly bullshit, and I mistimed it. Ow. You can use the columns to your advantage. Always use the columns when you're outnumbered. They can break the columns, but, you know, that's a them problem to contend with. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, took out, took out Flubber Nuggets. Unfortunately, this guy... I don't have his moveset memorized, so I'm just gonna die here. I might need a few larval tiers because I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of respecking to make this build work. I know it's like, I'm gonna show you how to do this, but every time I come up with a build that I think is gonna work, it's not as effective as I think it is, so... I've been doing a decent amount of refining the build over the course of this how to get through the Shadows of the Erd Tree 
And frankly, I sometimes feel like I get stuck. I'll get him. Okay. Make use of the columns. Make use of the columns. We want to focus one. And I'm even going to go a little hyper aggressive here. All right. Oh my god. What a bag of bullshit. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I have an idea. What do you do when your build sucks and it's not it's not up to your standards? Yeah, you change it up until you start instant winning. So we're going for another larval tier, folks. All right, I need to find some more. Yeah, how would I even switch up this build? Yeah, greatly take out mind. Just more endurance. All right, let's do like a physical build here. I have consulted the directory. All right, so we gotta go around this way. Hey, it's a doppelganger troll. Ow. Ow. Ho ho, hey ho. All right, you have been defeated. Give me that larval tear. Thank you. And you are welcome. For I have put you out of your misery living in Kaled. Dude, seriously, this place, just being here is making me itchy in real life. Ah, uh, okay, moving on. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and mark. I'll put the dog for larval tears, I don't know. Nah, it can't be the dog for tears. Here, I'll just put a person, because a lot of the tears are dropped as doppelgangers. I'm gonna grab a couple more, just in case we need to- we are refining the build right now. Alright, I also got that one. Okay, it's time for lobster. Oh, we're gonna go talk to the grumpy broil prawn man. Hey, are those prawns done yet? Okay, okay. I- I will not... Boinkle your prawns. So there's another larval tier around this way. There are these lobsters, but one of the lobsters is not really a lobster. That lobster is a pretend lobster. And you can't dunk pretend lobsters in butter and serve them at a banquet. You're a lobster. You're a lobster. Ow, oh, shit, that's a... I was not ready for the... See what I mean? This game punishes wind-up attacks. You gotta give us more hyper armor with wind-up attacks. It makes it unviable without it. Did any of those... Yeah, okay, maybe this lobster transforms into the scion of the seventh dawn. It's a lobster. There we go. Oh, the fake lobster has become a Spider-Man. Not the Peter Parker flavored Spider-Man. A man who just has a lot of limbs. What? He missed all of those hits. I feel very lucky and accomplished at the same time. Now I have two larval tears. Now I can go cry to Mommy Renala at the library because the Wi-Fi is down and that puts me at an inconvenience. I've come to bitch and cry about my problems, mother. Okay, first things first, I gotta double check this 
the stat requirements. So we need... It's 13 strength, 16 dex, and faith. Okay. 13, 16, 16, 16. Got it. So we got the 16 strength. Okay, so that's just 16 across the board. That allows us to wield the dual weapons. Let's get this back to 50. We're going to actually ignore mine for the time being because instead of focusing on the weapon art, I'm focusing more on the dual attacks. And since it gets both the C scaling to both strength and dex, I figured let's just make this a quality build. So here's what I want to do. I want to get endurance up to 30. Actually, 40. I have a reason for doing 40. Strength at 20. Yeah, we'll be doing a quality build. Favoring dex. All right. So we're not doing anything with mind. Keeping vigor at 50. Endurance at 40. Strength 27, dex 28, int and faith at 16 and 16 to fulfill the weapon wield requirements. Ignoring arcane, and I will be ignoring mind. Yep, so we'll be doing like a quality cherry blue raspberry dual sword build, and the reason why I put extra points into endurance, well. All right, I lost, I lost a lot of blue, blue bar. Yeah, so before I think I was getting like, what, plus 40 something in magic and fire, now I'm just down to 20 something, so it's not really a whole lot from the int and face scaling, but the physical damage seems to be where a good chunk of it is at. Okay, now, let's go ahead and equip Erdtree's Favor, Crimson, the Turtle. We'll just do this for the time being. This, this. Followed by this, and let's not forget, wait, 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 it has to be like, nah, I like it this way. All right, there we go. Full goats. Full goats. Full goats. Guest starring Terrence. Okay. And also, because I'm wielding, this actually kind of, this aesthetically, this even works out well. Because... Well, I got these horns jutting out of my tits, so... Sorry, the lower abdomen. So it wouldn't make sense for my arms to cleave right through it. I'm a tanky, you know, little jabby-jab fella. And I saved the actual R volt here in case I wanted to do something different, but this is what I'm about going with. Oh, this, the side of grace is this way. This is what it's like, huh? To be the librarian. Okay, Terrence, let's go. Right, I didn't need to rest there. Let's go in this direction. But first, it's side quest time. Actually, this has been one big side quest. We are doing this particular side quest. All right, so you go to the Church of the Plague. This is where Millicent, the NPC, is at. Doctor, she'll say that her She's, uh, she's got the scarlet rot. Little itchy. Got the itchies. Now we gotta help her. So... It's down... I believe this way. I will say, the Terrence Helm with the bulk coat armor actually not only aesthetically works quite well, it makes me look so handsome. For being handsome is what my mother has always said I was. Man, these cranky bats. The Burger King mascots have invaded. They want to sell me the overcooked Whoppers, and I am heavily against that. I want my meat cooked tender and juicy. And then, only then, is it appropriate to go in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I finally made it to ground level. It's a dog. All right. Oh, he was dog. Let's go talk to Krusty McCrinkle Crunkles. Hear the request. Oh, hey, we just met her. He's like over here-ish. Where the needle is. There he is. We gotta fight this dude. Even though the build's not spec for it, it's still good at clearing out trash mobs. Also, I do need to heal. 
I am a goat man. I'm the goat man. I'm a dancing goat man. Huh. I have a sinking suspicion that my character's butthole is probably itchy after that fight. I mean, all of that shit going down your trousers, yeah, that'd make anyone's asshole itch. This has been Kato's Corners here at Game Guys. Alright. Back this way. Did someone just rip ass? Oh, it was just a mosquito. Well, if there ever was the place to do it, it's Kaled. Because you could easily blame it on ten other creatures that are right nearby. I see the dog has come out from... Dog, you should be a little dog. Alright. So what I like to do is just go back to this side of Grace. I believe he just goes away, and then you gotta redo the thing, but let me check. Greetings, mortel. Alright, what's in this wonder ball? Firecrackers and the Sacred Ring of Light. Oh, I was looking for that trading card. Now I'm gonna show off to my new uncle figure the cool new trading card I got from the wonder ball. Oh, hi. So, uh, I found this wonder ball. It's pretty sweet. Back to the Church of the Plague, and now we can... We're gonna essentially... Sh shove a needle into Millicent to make her feel better. Or, well, we're gonna give her the needle, and she's gonna shove it in herself. It's one of those do DIY type assembly medical procedures. Alright, so she needs some time to rest up a bit, so let's take a nap. Nap time is over. And now she's up. Alright. Next up, she'll be coming she'll be going to Gowrie Shack. So we gotta go back to the heart of it's a lot of back and forth at the start of this little journey. Oh. Gowrie's gone. And then let's go back to the start of Grace. Let me go back to Gowrie Shack and he will return and Millicent will be gone. Howdy ho, Gowrie. Eh, well, I'm in the neighborhood. Let's just pick these up. Thank you, Gowry. Millicent's next location will be... Ooh, this way. And she should be... I believe she's over here. There she is. So, yeah, if you go to the Earth Tree, Grayson Hill, then kind of come around this direction, that's... This is where Millicent will be at. After you... Wait, let me talk to her one more time. She's paused. And okay. Once when the dialogue repeats, her next location will be at the Windmill Village. So we go over this way. It's the place with all the... the dancing ladies. It feels so nice to show up and not be instantly attacked by... the whatever, cr whatever creatures just happen to be lurking about. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hooray! Alright, ladies. You have been phenomenal performers. I'm not gonna go this way. Don't mind me. Yeah, they're just they're just dancing. They kind of remind me of the Witches of Heimwick from Bloodborne, only less British. Okay, now they get angry. I apologize, but at this point, I can no longer trust you to not assault me. And get out of here. And here is the Godskin Apostle. You miss. And just like that, the spam works. We We get the gold skin peeler, scouring black flame. If we rest at this side of grace after defeating the godskin apostle, Millicent should show up nearby. Huh. I thought she'd be here. Or maybe I have to reload. Yeah, she's still at the Erd Tree Grazing Hill. Hmm. Let me talk to her again. Maybe there was some extra dialogue I needed to exhaust. Right, 
we gotta go this way. Let's see if I can just quickly get this bit out of the way. All right, once again, I have found myself getting to yet another little side location. Okay, so here's what you gotta do here. First, you gotta, you just gotta go light. We gotta light the four things of the Everjail. This will unlock a path forward. Also, these are these invisible assholes that are going to attack you. Okay, there's one. Yep. We got the first one lit. Hmm. All right. Stay in the snow so you can see their footprints. I'm just gonna run. Got you. Yeah, they're tanky, they're invisible, so you can't even lock onto them. They're basically over, and oh yeah, they do this shit. And I'm in bull goat's armor, by the way. Look how much damage that is. I think he's climbing the ladder now. Anyways, here's the second one. Okay, this is where it gets kind of fucky. To the point where I'm actually going to activate the bubble. Woo, first time. I am trying to start a new fashion trend. I call it dealing with the bullshit. Okay, light number three, and we got one more to go. Howdy ho, hey ho. It's over there. So we gotta go... Ooh, I did not gauge that distance properly at all. Not to worry. God, everything is just an asshole in these ever jails. Jump over here, jump over here. Tell this guy to go eat a dick. And then you jump up here. Jump up here. And then you go up here. Here. Active. Grab this rune. We're gonna run this way. We're gonna climb this ladder. There we go. And now we finally made it to the fourth and final. Woo! The seal was broken. And now I believe we just go back to the starting point. Yep. We just broke out of the jail. And now that the seal is broken, we can move forward. And forward, I shall move. Oh, you guys are such assholes. It's very narrow, and space is limited. Oh good, the sacramental bud. I'm so glad I... Anyways, we're at the Halica tree now. And here is the side of grace. All right, let's check out the physic. We don't need the bubble tier. I would say... Yeah. I like this a lot. Temporarily boost stamina recovery speed and temporarily boost poise. Yes. Or if I really wanted to. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me on this lovely episode of uh, Kato's Corners. And uh, yeah, check your folks out next time. <laughs>